Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the transit sun making a square opposition or in conjunction once in April, midheaven. Now, when we have transits that involve the sun, they can be about life, action, focus, what we want, attention, where we want to shine in. And uh, the thing about it is when you have the transit sun basically making an adverse aspect to the uh, natal midheaven, major adverse aspect to it, um, you're looking at life, uh, your life, your actions, your focus, uh, what you want, your atten the attention you might um, be seeking or trying to apply somewhere. Uh, it may conflict with, uh, with your career in some instances. I mean, if the midheaven is in Capricorn, it might be you know, career, maybe in dentistry or accounting or working with the government or politics. Um, it can be a, a situation too where your life itself, you know, there might be a conflict with what you have to do in your life at that time, what you need to put your focus, your attention on. It may also uh, conflict with authority figures, what their demands may be at this time. And you might, and as far as like your energy and vitality, that might be lacking in terms of what you're trying to do in, in terms of for, for an authority figure. Um, at this time in the, in the midheaven, I mean, say if it's in, you know, going back to Capricorn, it could be a very authoritative or dictatorial authority figure. If it's in Leo, it could be one that's very domineering and maybe even a little bit arrogant and likes to throw their weight around, uh, basically. And uh, the thing about this transit, too, is keep in mind, I mean, the, the midheaven is the, can be connected with the dominant parent, which is often the father. Now, this could be a situation in some cases where you might have a um, you know, situation, you know, where your life, you know, you know, there might be demands from the father that might be causing, there might be you know, diminished or depleted vitality at this time. It might be harder to perform actions for your father or the, dom the dominant parent at this time more so than usual. I mean, say if the transit sun is an Aquarius, it might be doing things, you know, with computers or electronics. They're trying to, you might be having to do, trying to do some wiring in, this, in your father's home. Or, you know, if you're living in the same place, it'd be your home as well, of course. Uh, the thing about this is when you have the transit sun, I mean, when it's in opposition to the midheaven, then the transit sun, of course, is going to be you know, conjunct the, the, the the fourth house, the ice, it's going to be um, either going, um, it's going to be either in the third house, very close to the fourth house cusp, or, or in the fourth house, still very close to the fourth house cusp. And this is the time where many people may be experiencing a very strong pull between what they have to do in their home, their private life, basically, where they're, you know, they're introverted. Uh, existence as opposed to what they gonna do in that outer world in terms of you know their career and their ambitions and, and matters pertaining to, to business at this time and the thing about um, this too is keep in mind that this transit does not last very long it only lasts about five days because if you're using a three degree uh, applying aspect and a two degree separation one, you're talking about five degrees total. The transit sun moves approximately one degree per day. And another thing too is keep in mind the midheaven is also about our response can be connected with responsibilities. The midheaven does correspond with the zodiac sun Capricorn. So it might be harder to perform actions in terms of your uh, responsibilities at this time or even having some kind of focus on it uh, at this time uh, more so uh, than usual. Say if the Midheaven is in Sagittarius, it might be responsibilities connected with advertising or publishing or maybe even foreign travel or matters pertaining to foreigners uh, at this time. And uh, Midheaven is also associated with that side that you can't, um, that is difficult to suppress. Um, you know, the fourth house, of course, is associated with what we can, what we may do in our home when nobody's around. And when you talk about the midheaven, that's that side that you can't hide no matter what, uh, you know, really, or very difficult in hiding no matter how hard you may work uh, to actually 
uh, do that. So it can be at this time that the biological father or child or an authority figure may be at odds in that, that, that side of yourself that you have difficulty and, you know, basically suppressing um, at this time. And, you know, if the, um, say if the midheaven is in the zodiac sign cancer, it might be a side that might be more, you know, sensitive to criticism and ridicule than others might actually think, or maybe someone that's old, and, you know, has a side that's very overly protective and, and clingy and emotional. Now, Another thing, too, is the Midheaven is also connected with attaining authority. So there might be, you know, as far as the drive and motivation at this time, may be lacking in terms of trying to do that. Even if there is, say, an opportunity, say, if you're in a position at your job, you're in a sub subordinate or subservient role, or it might be harder to get that position of authority, or maybe because you just don't feel like you have that energy, you have that drive and motivation to do so. Uh, at this time. Now, uh, the Midheaven is also connected you know, with, with success and, and again, going back to the sun uh, being associated with motivation and drive, it might be more difficult than usual to really have that, that drive to attain ambitions and to really be very successful if you're not. If you're already successful, the transit for as far as that goes is not really going to be you know, that bad or that dramatic because, again, the transit is only going to last about five days. So it's not really that big um, of, a, of a thing. There's usually nothing really, I wouldn't think, anything that life-altering as far as this transit goes. It could simply be a time where you really, you're not really that worried as much about you know, trying to attain your know, notoriety and recognition or, or having that drive and motivation to do so, you know, more so than usual. And it also, the Midheaven is connected with the reputation and public image. So it could be in a situation in some, you know, isolated cases. Um, it may be that um, could be a biological father, could be a child, could be an authority figure, maybe is not happy with something about you know, your reputation or your public image at this time. Um, it might be, you know, safety midheaven is an Aries. It might be a reputation, maybe for being, you know, I don't say provocator, well, maybe somebody that's very combative or, um, you know, appears to be instigating maybe a person that is just, you know, overly, you know, abrupt or abrasive. Uh, I know somebody that has the Midheaven and Aries, at least this was someone that was prominent in my life scheme some time ago, and I mean, she was notorious for getting into um, arguments a lot with people in uh, fast food places. She also had a Cancer Ascendant at the 29th degree and Mars and Cancer at the 29th degree, so go figure. But anyway, going back to this interpretation, uh, another thing, the Midheaven, I would say, is connected with structure and discipline as well. So it might be a little bit harder to attain that structure and discipline in your life at this time, uh, more so than usual. The sun, again, is connected with our life. The midheaven can be associated with structure and uh, discipline. It might be a time where when the transit is complete, it might be a little bit easier to do so at this time. Um, things in your life, I mean, if they're a little bit chaotic, especially at the time of this transit, it would really reaffirm that when the, the transit ends, you might have more of an opportunity uh, to do so in terms of getting that structure and discipline in your life, and especially, like, say, when you have the transit sun making a sextile or trying to urinate uh, mid-heaven. Now, another thing, too, is that this is also, um, again, this could be about um, achievements and accomplishments. So you may not have, you know, that drive, that motivation, that energy and vitality to attain your uh, achievements at this time that you really would like uh, to do. And I mean, say, you know, if this is a midheaven in Scorpio, it might be matters like with insurance or tab, doing something with, I guess, a tax preparer or something with a, a major change or transformation at this time or dealing with the crisis it can be you know, anything could be scorpio related recycling uh, also the midheaven is connected with the stature in life your social status so it might be a time where you don't have that really you, know, you feel that drive that energy that motivation in order to really work on that especially if you feel it really needs uh improvement hold on a moment people
Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now let's say um, something, when, uh, another way this could manifest and pan out, let's say a uh, biological father or child may conflict with your career, the accomplishments you want to attain. Now, say if the midheaven is an Aquarius, as, as an example, it could be in innovation or computers, uh, some kind of accomplishment or achievement in electronics, innovation, um, astrology, as some examples, uh, it can be uh, even where you just don't really have that drive or that energy and vitality to do so at that time. Uh, in some cases, too, it could be a physical matter. It may present a challenge to take care of your responsibilities at this time. Now, let's say, for example, um, if you have the Midheaven in Pisces, it could be um, you know, a responsibility you may feel you have to the less fortunate such as the oppressed, the homeless, the hungry, the impoverished. It may be uh, something with filmography, whether it could be doing YouTube videos or what have you. Maybe some situation where um, you know, it might be maybe people that are imprisoned, you know, whether you might be somebody that might be you know, a minister or preaching to people that are imprisoned or maybe helping people that are imprisoned out in some other manner. Uh, at this time as well, situation, you know, with an authority figure, which is a, you know, the sun could be connected with that, uh, may be a little bit more contentious or challenging. It could be due to that side that you can't really, uh, it's hard to suppress, which is the midheaven. Now, say if the midheaven is in Leo, as an example, it could be an arrogant or very domineering side, um, you know, flamboyant in each side that maybe it's hard to hold back. Uh, if it's an Aquarius, it could be a very rebellious or non-conforming or unorthodox side. Now also, too, it might be more difficult to find the energy, that drive, that motivation. Um, it could be in, you know, just career matters in general, your responsibilities, attaining notoriety. Say if the Midheaven is an Aries, as an example, it could be maybe working as a speech pathologist. It might be, um, you know, something with... Uh, just having to confront, you know, cause responsibility to confronting somebody. It could be an arson matter, um, you know, something that might have taken place in your neighborhood, as an example. Um, something you might be trying to investigate yourself to some degree and figure out. But anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Lerner, saying stay well.